Hello, what is up you guys? So today I'm going to be sharing with you my perfume collection. If you followed me for a while, you know that I'm not super into perfumes. Um, I think they're a little too, like there's too many notes where at least one I won't like or it'll be too heavy, too peppery, too sweet, too headache inducing. So perfumes are difficult for me, but there's a lot of them that I do have. Um, just not like a huge giant collection and a lot of them are Victoria's Secret perfumes because they're a little lighter, a little more feminine, a little more like young, a little less mature, which then means a little less scent notes, which then means I usually like them a little more. So yeah, I will show you what I have and if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first up I have JLo's Miami Glow. This is such a good scent. Super nostalgic for a lot of people. This scent is super fresh and I almost imagine like the smell has the consistency, like if it were an item, it would be the consistency of like honey because it has this like sexy kind of like creamy note almost but with a bunch of added fruitiness to it. Not like super juicy fruity, but just like hints of fruitiness and slightly fresh. It is like a perfect fragrance. This is really, really good. I think this is definitely a compliment getter. It comes with these little like flip flops and I just, I just think this is super cute. And especially for the summertime, this is like a perfect fragrance from day to night. So yeah, let me know if you have this. I actually recently picked this up, but I really like it. Next up I have Escada's Sir Butter, Sir Beto Rosso. This is their little watermelon fragrance. This is really good. This to me smells like water and green grapes and a little bit of watermelon. It's a very like watery fresh scent. I expect it to be, to be more like sweet and juicy watermelon, but it's more of this like fresh water, watery watermelon. It reminds me of uh, Velvet Petals Radiant. That one was like Watermelon kiwi or is it strawberry kiwi? I can't remember, but it gives me that kind of vibe. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that it was pink. That's kind of cute. But yeah, this is perfect for the summertime when you are like overheating, you're sweating, you don't want anything too heavy. Their perfumes are really good if you like fruity scents, which are my favorite. All right, now I have six uh, Victoria's Secret perfumes, so I'll try to go through them pretty quick. I've got Victoria's Secret Crush, which they come out with usually during the semi-annual sale. Um, I can't remember when I got this, but this is like, a very pretty floral scent and usually I don't like florals but this kind of floral I can definitely get behind it's almost like a field of like flowers but in a young way I guess it's a very like sweet flirty fragrance yeah if you like florals but you don't want anything too heavy you will love this even if you don't like florals this is such a nice feminine scent highly recommend then I have Bombshell Seduction, which is newest to my collection. This has sage in it. This is like the sexiest of the Victoria's Secret scents that I have. It's just very, I don't know, there's something fresh and feminine and sexy about it without it being like peppery or like smelling like black licorice, which a lot of sexy scents usually have those kind of notes and they're not my thing. This is like the perfect kind of seductive scent, so highly recommend this one as well. I have Bombshells in Bloom, which used to be my favorite scent of all time. I still love this so much. This is like Bombshell, but like younger and more floral. It's very, very good. They come out with this once in a while during the semi annual sale as well. And you can get it for a really good price, but yeah, a little more floral, a little more young, and you do get that DNA of bombshell. It smells really good. I have Victoria's Secret Oso Party. This has like a pear note in there. This is perfect for like those like fresh, fruity, sweet fragrances. It's not like super juicy, fruity, but you can definitely pick up on that pear. It's like a watery pear scent. Very beautiful. If you're looking for something more on the fresh side, thank goodness Victoria's Secret actually has something, but again, this is one that only comes out usually during the semi-annual sale. I have good old regular Bombshell. I love Bombshell. Bombshell will be something that I will always repurchase. It's such a beautiful, like when I wear this scent, I feel like I'm a Victoria's Secret angel. Like it's just, Bombshell is Victoria's Secret, you know? But yeah, love this one. And then last but not least, I have Bombshell Summer. I also have Rollerballs in the other versions, which are like Bombshell, what is it? Uh, Paradise, Bombshell Beach. They're all the same notes. This is just like, the best bombshell ever. If you like fruity scents, you will love this. It has this almost like citrusy grapefruit kind of scent. To me, it smells like orange starburst. 
Yep, love this one. I pair this with pretty much all my fruity scents during the summertime, which is mostly what I wear. So this pairs really well with everything. Also the bottle of this specific summer one, I think is absolutely beautiful. Next I have Live by JLo. This is one of my favorites. This smells like fresh laundry, and then as it settles down, it just smells like, I don't know, apples or pears. It has this really fresh, like, clean scent. I love pairing this with crisp morning air with that apple note. And this surprisingly lasts a long time. This is like a fresh fruity scent that actually lasts forever. But yeah, you just get fresh laundry and like an apple pear note. This is beautiful. I know a lot of people used to wear this, and this is one of those that I think I'll always repurchase. So this is Touch of Pink. You've probably seen this before. They sell it at Nordstrom Rack and places like that. I bought this online, but this, I'm trying to find the notes because I actually don't remember. It says it's citrus, powdery, sweet, fruity, vanilla. I don't really get vanilla. Um, it says orange, peach, blood orange, um, jasmine, violet leaf, carrot seeds, just a lot of different notes. This is just like a really girly scent. It's super fruity, slightly florally, fresh, sweet. It's just beautiful. If you've never tried this, I highly recommend it. For some reason, I'm obsessed with the bottle too. I don't know what it is about this that makes me feel like I'm putting on like cologne, but like in a good way, in like a girly way. This is a really good one. If you have a chance to smell this, I highly recommend or blind buy it. I, I think this is one of those scents that you can't really go wrong with. Next, I have Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy. This is my favorite of her perfumes. Her perfumes are really, really good. This one just smells like a sweet vanilla candy type smell, like cotton candy and vanilla mixed together. This is really good. This is a compliment getter, especially if you mix it with twisted peppermint. I promise you, you will get a compliment. Sweet so like candy is bomb. It's just bomb. It's so, so good. Next, I have Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is a really nice scent. I will say, over time, I don't like it as much. It gives me like black licorice vibes, but... This is a very fun and sexy scent, and I used to own this when I was younger, so it's just nostalgic to me, but once I use it up, I don't know if I'll still repurchase it, but oldie but a goodie. I also have Curious by Britney Spears, and this one I also owned. This one, to me, smells like fruits and mouthwash. I don't know if that makes sense, but it has the freshness of mouthwash like after you use it, and a slight like fresh fruity note with like a white floral. It smells really good. If you like fresh scents and you like them to be like crisp and fresh, then this is a really good one. Next I have, this is one of the heats. Is this regular heat? I don't remember. Um, they have so many different ones, but this is Beyonce's fragrance. This is super good. It's like a sexy, um, fruity scent. I can't remember what the exact note is, but it almost smells peach, like a sexy peach scent. And I really like this, but I will say on the dry down, it's slightly musky. And I don't like that part of it, but it's still a good perfume. It's not one I'd repurchase, but it's definitely a good one. Next, I have Viva La Juicy. Which one is this? This one is a rosé. So I bought this. Actually, my boyfriend bought this for me um, because I was obsessed with the packaging. I was like, I need to display this. This is the prettiest rose scent ever. I don't like florals, but this is gorgeous. It's such a light feminine rose scent. It's probably the best rose scent I've ever smelled. It's just... For someone that doesn't like florals, this kind of light, kind of sweet, sexy scent is perfect, but it literally just smells like a light rose scent. So if you like rose scents, definitely smell this, check it out, but the bottle, I mean, it's beautiful. And then last but not least, I have these two from uh, Soli Notes. I hope that's how you say it. I have the pomegranate one and the blanc, if that's how you say it. This one has sage and like white tea. This is such a gorgeous fresh scent. Oh my god, it's incredible. I know sage sounds weird, and the tea scent, it's a little weird and it's almost masculine in a fresh way. I don't know how to describe it, but I absolutely love this. I can't stop smelling myself when I use this. And the pomegranate one is the only pomegranate scent that I've ever liked because it's not too heavy, it's just juicy. Yeah, it's like a sexy, juicy pomegranate scent. It's so good. So these two, I really, really like, and you can uh, mix and match these scents, but I kind of just like using one of them at a time, but yeah. Love these. All right, you guys, those are all my perfumes. Let me know which ones you have as well, if I have any that are your favorites, and recommend me a perfume that you think I would like based on what I have in my collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.